Good afternoon, everybody. Today is December 14th. We had a regular session Board of Commissioners meeting today here at the courthouse here in Atasca County. On our regular agenda, we had a lot of things. We had uh, Commissioner Warrants today of $1.7 million and some change. Uh, that passed. Uh, we had a nice update from Kelly Chandler on COVID. Uh, we do have an uptick yet with COVID. I will tell you, uh, past 14 days, we've had 446 cases. Past seven days, 214. We had waste management come uh, before us uh, today, asked for an increase uh, because of their trucking expenses of doing our waste. Uh, they were looking for an increase. They have decided that uh, they will just stay within our five-year contract agreement uh, for that instead of going after a $7.82 a ton extra money. We had a nice legislative update from uh, Lauren Solberg uh, today. Here's our top 2022 legislative priorities. Number one, the Canisteo uh, mine pit. This is a dewatering efforts. Um, can of steel is raising between five and seven feet a year. Estimated about 14, well, 12 to 16 months before we have a, a new waterfall uh, here in the state of Minnesota. Make national news. So uh, the DNR and the state of Minnesota are going to work very, very hard to make sure that doesn't happen. You know, the question is, well, where's the money coming from? Who's going to maintain it? Um, you know, it, uh, the water there is the state of Minnesota's water, uh, so uh, it is their responsibility to handle that. I presume uh, that's going to be on uh, on their top of their priority list too to find out how we can handle uh, things like that. Highway 169, <clears throat> the support of a double lane completion from Penn Gilly to Coal Rain. I will tell you that the Hibbing Airport. Um, uh, understands the uh, the great need for that. 60% of all flights uh, that are taken out of Hibbing are from people in Itasca County. So I think they understand that, that there's a great need to make sure there's a good road to their uh, airport. Uh, with that in mind, I think they might come on board with us and, and help us in any way we can to make sure that it gets completed. A PILT increase, a PILT increase is a, a payment in lieu of taxes. This is all of our, uh, our timber land that we have in Itasca County. Um, you know, uh, we get about $1.75 an acre, give or take. You know, everything below uh, Highway 210 is anywhere from $7 to... $90 an acre, so we would like to see an adjustment there. Um, uh, we're going to be working on that uh, uh, this upcoming year. We'd like to get uh, fully reimbursed uh, for our probation officers here in Itasca County. We have a county-style probation. Uh, the agreement with the state of Minnesota is a 50-50. Uh, we pay 50% of of you know wage and bennies and the state of minnesota pays 50 percent of wage and bennies and uh, the state is short uh, by about 22 percent of what they owe us we did tentative appointments for all the committees here in our county we did talk about uh, salaries for our attorney uh, salaries for our auditor treasurer recorder and sheriff and then our commissioners with our commissioners, I will just tell you that uh, to give a 2% uh, increase in commissioner's wage, a commissioner's wage went up uh, $689, um, uh, which would give the commissioner a grand total of $35,189. Like I said, this past three to two vote. And at the very last thing um, we had was a, our truth and taxation uh, meeting today. With that, we had a great presentation uh, from Deb Davis and Gail Gluck about our, our levy and our budget. Uh, this year, uh, we passed a 0% increase on levy. Uh, as a matter of fact, we have done that three years in a row now. 
and um, so it does add <clears throat> some some strains uh, uh, to some things. Uh, I think we become more efficient uh, as a government. There's your update for December 14th. I hope everybody has a good week. One uh, coming up here on on the holidays uh, starting here in the near future, 10 days from now. So please, everybody be safe. Have a good day.